Can y'all believe people have been talking about trading Terry McLaurin, right? And I can't even imagine what that would do to our team. Like, imagine what the commanders would be without Terry McLaurin. And we're talking about the best wide receiver we have had over the last few years. We're talking about the last four years, he's been the number one receiver on the team with 1,000 yards in each season. And then we can even count his first season where he had 900 yards. That's, if you want to add that in there, he's had five seasons worth over five, uh, over 1,000 yards. And that's only been within five years of being on the team. And that's within him being thrown the ball by 11 to 12 different starting quarterbacks, right? And you're telling me we're going to give him away and we just signed him to a three-year, $68 million contract? And y'all about to give him away? And he's over here still putting up numbers. And even when he's being thrown by, thrown to by all different types of quarterback, and he's still able to make it to 1,000 yards at the end of the season. And with all he has done, I think that would be a spit in the face, a slap in the face for us to decide that we're going to give him away. I think whoever came up with that need to be slapped because just think about what that would do for our team. And then imagine you got a rookie quarterback coming in and you got nobody to throw to. You got Jahan, you got Jahan Dodson. Let me not act like we don't have nobody on the team, but we don't have Curtis Samuel. Come on now. We had, at least last year, uh, Sam Howe had Curtis Samuel, Jahan Dawson, and uh, Terry McLaurin on the same team. And don't be don't don't get me wrong, but them three on the, t- on the field at the same time were just dangerous. You know, Curtis Samuel could do anything. So, okay, he could run it. He can he can catch it as well. He was a running back as well. So. Him just being so dynamic and the fact that he was super fast just went along with everything. And then you got a twitchy wide receiver as Jahan Dawson. That was just everything we needed. So it's like he and then you got a reliable player in Terry McLaurin. And you're telling me if we don't have Terry and now that we don't have Curtis Samuel who went to the Bills, you telling me Jahan can handle this team as a wide receiver and still put up some good numbers. No, it's not going to happen because everybody's going to know our weaknesses. They're going to know who to check, who to stay on. And the reason why Jahan was so good in his first year coming out was because we had Terry. We had Mc- we had Curtis Samuel. You see what I'm saying? So we had those two to really just confuse you, to not even know what's going on. And then he was definitely underestimated when he first came in. So it's like, bro, like nobody knew how good he was on route running. So to have Terry not there as our reliable number one wide receiver, which takes all the heat off of Jahan Dodson, which takes all the heat off of Curtis Samuel, right? To not have them there and now only have our star wide receiver, which is Jahan Dodson, Just think about what that would do to the team and how hard the wide receiver would have to work versus knowing that he has nobody to throw to then having to run or having to throw to his running backs all day, every day. And you think defenses won't understand at some point you're going to be looking at the check down every second and every moment. So that wouldn't be beneficial for us to get rid of Terry. And what would we give him up for, for a number one spot to be in, in the running to get Caleb Williams, where we can have the same thing in J- Jaden Daniels, like what? Like, of course they're both not the same people, but we can still get a dynamic player. It's not like if we don't get him, we can't get somebody good. And we're in the running of getting a good quarterback. We're not like seven, eight. We don't really need it that bad. We're at two, right? If we don't get Caleb Williams, we're getting Jaden Daniels. And it don't seem like we're going to get Caleb Williams. So 
I'm not even thinking about it, but you never know how this league goes. They may have made so much attention seem like it was towards Caleb Williams, and then they may be going with Jaden Daniels. You know what I'm saying? So it can be anything. The way this league works, you really can't predict it. Nobody predicted that um, Patrick Mahomes would be so great and win three Super Bowls in a little bit of time that he's been in the league. And nobody could predict that Terry McLaurin would be this reliable, this this star of a receiver being picked in the third round. So, and and the only person that could probably predict that was Dwayne Haskins. Rest in peace. But, bruh, I'm just thinking, like, bruh, just imagine how this will ruin the commanders right now. We would be definitely a rebuild team and not a recalibration. This would be a rebuild. This would be a reconstruction. Like, just think about what that would do to us. And us still having Terry here and the amount of money that we're paying him, just imagine that cap hit. And I think that would be a, a really stupid move by the the people like Adam Peters, the people like Dan Quinn, to get rid of Terry McLaurin, you're telling us to get rid of our number one jersey seller. you telling me we don't even have – look, last season we got rid of Chase Young, who was next in jersey sales, right? We're talking about uh, uh, not just anybody. He's a figure on the offense. He's a person that we all look to. And he makes quarterbacks better, right? He He's a number one person. Imagine him. If we gave him up, what would we give him up for? Bro, I don't care what it is, but it can't be nothing less than at least, at least two first-round picks, right? Shoot. For me, the way I'm feeling, three. Three first-round picks. If we can't get that, we ain't giving them up. And... Bro, like, just think about it, bro. Just imagine how he's holding the team up. He's holding the team up. He is. And for him not to be there, we're going to crumble on offense. We're going to crumble because his job is very necessary. It's like us not having a kicker, bro. Like, we won't be able to win those crucial games when it comes down to winning three points. Like, winning by three points. So it's like, bro, like, you can't, I don't even know, I already know the rumor was false, but just just imagine if it was true and we were willing to get rid of Terry McLaurin. Somebody who is better, who has been great in the only the little bit of amount of time that he's been in the league, right? Compared to the people that have been with the commanders for a very long time. We're talking about people, people like, people like, look, I wrote it down. Art Monk. Look, I don't even know who this is. Gary Clark. These are people that have been with the Commanders for a very long time, right? We're talking we're talking about probably 10 plus seasons, right? And in those 10 plus seasons, they have got to five five years worth of a thousand yards receiving, right? And they haven't all been consecutive, right? But they they've gone to making a thousand yards in five seasons, right? Terry has done that consecutively, right? And this year will make, if he get a thousand yards again, that will be five consecutive, consecutive yards. Just think about how, think about how much that weighs on your body, let alone how good you are. Like he's dependable. Think about how much we depend on him. Every quarterback that has come here and has started has relied on him. So to have that person be this great this early, you cannot let him go. We will crumble. And just let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Who who would do that? Who would get rid of Terry? Scary Terry. These This is who cornerbacks talk about they talk about they say yo you cannot underestimate him he is that guy and to not have him on the team will crumble 
I'm out.